everyone it's Letitia with barefoot gardening I hope that you are doing well it is a gorgeous day outside and so I took a little big girl farmer to get a treat say hey, hey. Hello. look at this beautiful Sun Mommy, eat your ice cream. I'm eating baby look at how gorgeous <laughs> all right what's up everyone i'm back so uh the little one get, was played out and came in and ate a snack and she is down so um it's just a good time to get things done i love working with my daughter in the garden and getting things ready for the garden but sometimes you know you just you move a little bit quicker without them <laughs> so anywho um i want to just do a few i'm gonna do a few random things today so um i'm back at my sweet potatoes um with the sweet potatoes, growing your slips or plants from your potato, it's it's great. It's, um, you know, you're literally propagating free plants from something that you already have in the house, okay? But one thing to remember is that the water gets really dirty. And over time, and it, I'm ashamed to show you all this because I've just been really busy lately and have not clean the water but I, I usually change this water once every five days once every week maybe at the minimum or at the maximum but it's probably been a week and a half since I changed the water and the reason why you want to change the water is because mold can build up in there um, and just dirt from the potato itself so you know just rinse it out rinse the cup out or container whatever you're the best you can see it's not bad but I'm using, you know, not cold water, not hot water, but lukewarm, as close to lukewarm as I possibly can. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to turn it off so you can hear me. But um, the roots here on this potato is not as extravagant as some others that I'm going to show you. But um, I don't want mold and fuzzy. It looks like white fuzzy uh, gel like stuff building up on the sweet potato. So after I dump the container out, um, I'll refill it with water. And, and I'm just using tap water right now. Uh, but you can use whatever you want. Um, they'll grow just fine. I've used bottled water and tap water and it's fine. But I'll take my little spray um, mechanism that's hooked onto my sink and just um, blow or um, wash off the potato and around the roots. Just to make sure I get that white foamy stuff off. And then I'm just going to refill the container. And set the potato back in there. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. This one is awesome. Look at the root system on that. And those are the slips there. And so again, the water isn't as bad as the other one, but I'm going to dump it. Rinse. Refill it. And I guess you could do that if you wanted to. Um, yeah, that's fine. Done. Put it back in the water. Okay, and I'm gonna fill it up just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing, I have two more to do and I'll be back soon. So I just wanted to show you all uh, this. I, I've already pinched off a few slips that got kind of long. And I'm going to end up doing that probably in about another week again. But these I just put in a separate uh, container. Um, and they are growing. So the sweet potato will root 
from the bottom and then you'll have to uh, to grow the slips okay um the water is feeding the potato right to grow the slips and then you pinch these off and put them in water so they can grow their own roots it sometimes roots will uh, already be attached to the slips when you take them off but most of the time not so you have to give your sweet potato time to grow the slips and then uh, you have to give the slips time to grow roots and so this looks pretty good so far um, it's a little light green at the top uh, but we'll we'll see how things go but it looks good so I have three of those and I will be back in just a second